Go right at it, man. Right into MVPs. Uh, starting off in EU, uh, Mark and I have slightly differing opinions for who we think MVP in EU is, but I think it's pretty much a two-horse race, I'd say, between these two guys as your main guys. Perks and Jazuki, somewhat comparable numbers. I gotta go with Perks just because he is the full focal point of that G2 squad, and I know that Jazuki is as well, uh, but I just think Perk so far has had a more dominant split, especially with that last week, what kind of happened to Vitality, their first OT, O2 week. We'll see how they rebound after that, but I gotta go with Perk. Yeah, see, I can definitely understand the Perks, but Perks has been fantastic and has actually, from I think the first week or two of the European LCS, has been one of the players that has keep and kept increasing the performance of his play. But for me, it's gotta be Jazuki. This Italian Stalin has really brought the fiery play that Vitality has needed to jump out to this hot start that they have already. He, for me, has to be the MVP. His 1v2 plays are the absolute cherry on top of the cake. Jazuki is my European LCS MVP. Here's the thing, you listen to some of these comms for Vitality, and it's guys like Gilius who are constantly telling him, hey man, chill out. Chill out. He gets fired up from any kill. He's screaming, giggling like a maniac. When you got Gilius telling you to calm down, Chill out, you man. know you're bringing Chill the out. heat. Focus. Focus. I've heard multiple comms with guys on Vitality <laughs> saying, focus, focus. Because they get a couple kills and then they just start laughing at the other team. Ah, they well, suck. Ah. And, and maybe that got in the way this past weekend and maybe you got to rein it back in. I'm sure they'll find it. Yeah, but I mean, after, after five weeks, those are definitely the front runners, I'd say, for MVP. Mm -hmm. Now, those are real deal numbers for sure. You can't, you know, you can't produce numbers like that into this point of the of the season and, and be a fraud in that type of sense. These guys, uh, Jazuki and Perks, I don't think you're going to see a slump here in the second half of the split. Will continue to play like excellent stars. Yeah, I think going forward, the last four weeks though, I think I think Perks is going to start separating himself again. We'll see how this Vitality squad uh, can rebound from their first real test and hurdle that they've had to go through. Uh, this split going 0-2. I mean, when they're happy, everything's yeah. fabulous. You're in paradise. When you start losing, that's when things, you know, the team's grit and, you know, synergy overall gets really tested. We'll see if they can bounce back. I hope they can. Yeah, this is definitely something, you know, when the first little bit of adversity hits the team, you want to see how they're going to react, how the team is going to uh, perform as a whole, and how everybody is going to be pulling together up and trying to bring that performance back to the level it needs to be to pull off a win in the uh, European LCS. I know that Vitality will be able to do that. Uh, let's, let's go right. Stick with EU. Move over to the rookies where I've got a little bit of a cop-out. Uh, you had Jazuki as your MVP. I think Perks is going to get MVP, which means Rookie of the Split for me is going to go to Jazuki because he's not getting MVP. Uh, you like mini true packs. I just think, yeah. I mean, Jazuki's in the MVP conversation. If he's not going to win MVP, he gets Rookie. See, I have no problem agreeing with that one, but for me, I think that he's good enough to win that MVP in his own right, and that leaves mini true packs as the EU rookie of the split. This guy has come in, he's performed absolutely all you could ask and more from the AD carry position. He's really shown himself to be in at least the top three at his position in the European LCS. And his aggression and plays and the ways he's picking up these kills, I've really been impressed with his play. And you know, he's bringing out some champions that we haven't seen all the time and we haven't seen in a long time, featuring Ziggs, which we haven't seen all the way from spring last year. So I'm really excited by his play so far, and he's got to be my pick for your uh, European rookie of the split. Yeah, I mean, if, if Vitality keeps playing the way they are, again, not including last week, it's definitely got to be someone on that squad that's going to take home uh, rookie of the split honors. I mean, there were a lot of guys that were kind of hyped up in this rookie class, guys like Upset, Sheriff, Kadrill. How's that going? Is Kadrill getting rookie of the split? Probably not. Probably not. Maybe get a few troll votes, but... Yeah. Uh, I think Upset's going to play better in these last four weeks. You've already seen him last couple of weeks. He's played more aggressive, and there's been moments where it's like, okay, that, that's a little too aggressive. Maybe don't flash in on Twitch. But uh, I'd say so far he's underperformed uh, in terms of people's expectations for the Schalke AD carry coming into this split. Right, but I think that when you look at Europe as a whole, there have been quite a lot of freshmen stepping up to the European Absolutely. LCS stage. And for the most part, a lot of them have performed better than you would expect 
for a rookie, and so you do have to tip their cap to them on that one. But I think that right now, the absolute cream of the crop for me has to be mini true packs and Jazuki, but he's my MVP, so he can't be having the rookie of the split. Yeah, that, that would just be not fair. You can't give them both awards. Uh, mini can't have your packs. cake and eat it too. No. I don't understand that saying. I don't know. I, of course I can have my cake and eat it. That's the point of having cake. I just cake. know it's a saying. I don't just, know the actual I don't understand point. that saying. That saying makes no sense to me. It makes no sense. Uh, uh, Mini True Pack should also get the award, by the way, for best post-game interviews. Because that guy just trash talks <laughs> yeah. the whole way through. Oh, yeah. It's great. It's great. He, he's, he's not re what we call reformed. He's, he's, not. he's still... Deep. I love trash talk. Give me more. Uh, let's go to uh, NA. Starting with the MVPs in NA. And listen... Most of these NA awards going forward, here's a spoiler, a lot of them involve Echo Fox or Cloud9 because they seem to be leaps and bounds ahead of these other teams in the NA LCS right now. Uh, so let's start off with those MVPs. And I'm looking at a guy like Smoothie, not only because he's got fantastic hair. I yeah. wish my hair could. It's probably the, like best, the best hair in the NA LCS. Ooh. Pulls off the Silver Fox move real good. He does pull it off very well. Uh, the numbers don't really do justice to how great Smoothie's been uh, early on in the split. His roaming is just key for uh, Cloud9 getting ahead. And I gotta talk about that stat at the bottom. No player born in, the N in NA has ever won MVP. See, when you showed me that, I was like, really? Really? And I, and I had to do a hard think about that. And then you're like, oh yeah, you're right. No one actually has because Bjergsen's, yes. Bjergsen's four by not Bjergsen, really NA. Four by Bjergsen, you got yeah. Phoenix, you got Rush, you got Arrow. See, I was calling for, for the five, Pete. I was thinking Bjergsen was gonna do it. Doesn't seem that way so far. His performance has been okay. You'd probably be expecting better from someone like Bjergsen and from an organization like TSM. So for me, it's Dardock. Dardock has absolutely been one of the standout stars for Echo Fox. He's been a guy that has really allowed all of their team to play to their absolute pinnacle of strength. When you're talking about Huni in the top lane, the visits that he's getting from Dardock is allowing him to get through certain matchups, like we just saw with Cloud9, that Lucian counter pick, and he absolutely crushed all over that Lucian counter pick. Dardock was a huge yep. reason that he was able to get there. I think that Dardock's decisiveness and aggressiveness from Echo Fox has really propelled them to playing a strong start to the split and why he's my MVP pick to start. Yeah, and you know, a lot of these other junglers who historically have been more carry-oriented, like Mike Young, Contracts, a guy like Lyra, have seemed to kind of struggle a little bit in this tank meta. Dardock, a guy who's played a lot of carry champions in the past as well, is thriving in this Sejuani, Zac, all these guys who do sub 5k damage after a 50 minute <laughs> game. Uh, he's looked fantastic on them and he's definitely been the star jungler in the NALCS so far and one of the main reasons Echo Fox is ahead, but I just, I love what Smoothie's doing. You bring in that shot calling too, I don't know how much you can include shot calling in MVP, but I think it should be quite a bit. I think that that's definitely something to be taken into the consideration for it. And Smoothie, as you said, has really stepped up his game and he's definitely brought the heat for Cloud9. This is someone who's, his performance specifically, I wanna, I wanna mention him because when, you know, and this isn't to take any credit away from Sneaky, but that Cloud9 bot lane has arguably looked the best it's ever looked. And I think that that is a large part in the way that Smoothie has really stepped up his performance this split. Absolutely, and you gotta ban the Alistair. You gotta ban the yeah. Zac against Dardock. You gotta yep. ban the Alistair. Those would have to be the two. Smoothie. No Blob Squad and no more Moo Cow. Yeah, anytime you're basically forcing your team to ban something, yeah, pretty powerful. Yeah, you're doing pretty well. Shout outs to Huhi's uh, Relian Soul. <laughs> I was gonna say, that's what we always talk about. That's, that's not a good comparison. Uh, rookie of the split so far in NA. I'll tell you what, it's not even a race. This isn't, this isn't like the EU one where we're having to debate who's it's getting over. MVP and rookie of the split. There's going to be con some contesting. This one's done. Give it Wrap to it him up. right now. So uh, we couldn't really compare him to any of the other rookies because it's not just fair. Who are you going to compare it's, him to? It's not fair. The <laughs> only thing you can compare him to is what would you rather have on your team. You're looking at the man. We're talking about Licorice, of course. We're talking about Licorice, the C9 top laner, or some actual Twizzlers Licorice. Uh, let's go right down to the stats here. 3.3 KDA for Licorice, and you're looking at 163 calories per 45 grams. That's about four pieces of Twizzlers. That's not that's not too bad. That's a pretty powerful snack. That's, that's a lot of energy coming that's, through. That's a lot of calories. But you hey, but you're forgetting it right now. So like you know, you're talking well, you know, Licorice. Yeah, you might have a CS differential of 10 at the 10 minute part. You're doing okay, but you know. Licorice, actual licorice, 19 grams of sugar. That's, that's a funny. lot of energy coming in through for you. Yeah, and I don't know if you want that much sugar. The main stat there was the iron. 
uh, per 45 grams of licorice, you're getting 2% of your daily iron intake. 2%, that's, that's not crazy. bad. But hey, if you're taking C9 licorice, you're getting your daily percentage of wins in League of Legends. This and guy- solo kills, look at this guy. Oh, loving it. He has really performed. And this is a guy who I thought would be, again, the rookie of the split coming into here, because I thought that we didn't have as many uh, exciting rookie options in North America, save you do in Europe. But what you've seen from his performance so far absolutely has solidified that, uh, that result that he should be getting this Rookie of the Split trophy and earning it based off of his gameplay and not just being because he's there type of thing. Yeah, and you heard uh, a lot of the pros were asked who, your mid who the Rookie of the Split so far is. All of them said Licorice. There's no case to be made. I thought definitely might perform or have to be the featured carry on that Golden Guardian squad. He's actually been the weakest link yeah. on that Golden Guardian squad. Some of these games... I forget who they played when he was on Callista, but he got three kills early and still finished with like a third of the damage That's done to the opposing AD the carry. The Golden so Guardian special, man. He has not looked great on the Guardians. And uh, has had moments on FlyQuest. Obviously, he didn't play a couple games with Shrimp in there. Right. But, uh, I mean, still not even close to compared to Licorice. The next yeah. closest is probably Solo. Yeah. And Solo's been okay, but, been no, great. but nowhere near the impact that, no. you know, ironically, the impact that Licorice has actually had for Cloud9. Yeah, uh, I mean, Solo, yeah, has probably been one of the better performers on Clutch, outside of, obviously, Fevavin. Uh, but Solo also has exceeded expectations for sure, just not quite to the degree that uh, Licorice has. Nope. And hey, he doesn't have a name that goes with piece of food. Yeah, Solo, Solo Top, come on, man. That's How are we going to make a cool... Little picture slide for that one. It would be great if you went on TSM though. <laughs> Team Solo mid solo. That would be something. That's pretty good. Uh, you should replace Hanser on TSM. There you go. <laughs> Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more esports content.